So what is maximum likelihood? And I think the first question I need to answer is why do we need it? And maximum likelihood is a useful method to understand how we can estimate parameters of a distribution. Let's say that something is, for instance, Bernoulli distributed. Bernoulli distributed means I, have an, I do something and I have a binary outcome. For instance, the US presidential election, right? Either Donald Trump is going to win the election or Hillary Clinton. This is a classical Bernoulli event. And in a Bernoulli event, there's a probability. There's the probability that uh, Donald Trump wins, which may be pi, and then there's a probability that Hillary Clinton wins, which has to be one minus pi. So if the probability that Donald Trump wins is 40%, then the probability that Hillary Clinton wins is 60%, right? So the question is, is there a formula that we can calculate this parameter pi, the probability pi, right? And maximum likelihood gives you a formula to actually calculate or estimate this parameter. Another example would be, we know that the height of human beings is normally distributed, right? With a certain uh, mean and a certain variance, right? And the mean is mu, the variance is sigma squared. But how do we actually calculate those parameters? Mu, sigma squared. Right? And maximum likelihood gives us a method to do this. So whenever I know that a certain, certain experiment or certain thing is distributed in a certain way, maybe normally distributed or Bernoulli distribu distributed, then maximum likelihood gives me a method to estimate the distribution parameters. So the mu or the sigma squared or the pi, okay? So what's the idea behind maximum likelihood estimation? Let's go back to our example of height. So we know that height of human beings is normally distributed, but we don't know what the mean or expected value of the distribution is. But let's say we do know that the variance is 50 centimeters, okay? Let's say that we go out and we measure people's heights and we find a person that's 180 centimeters, we find a person that's 157 centimeters, we find a person that's 170 centimeters, and we find a person, yeah, let's say we find those three persons. So can we now come up with a formula that uses those three observations we have to estimate our parameter mu, right? To come up with an educated guess for what mu is, right? And as you see, there can be many formulas. There could, for instance, be the average. So we could say one formula for our mu could be that we take the average. So one third times 180 plus 157 plus 170, right? This could be one val valid alternative for mu. Or what we could also do is we could take the median, so the middle value, right? And out of these three values, the median is 170, right? So our second, second, pos uh, second possible estimation from you could be just the median, 170, right? So the question is like, how do I come up with those formulas, right? The median, the middle number, the average, right? Why do I know that this could be a formula that makes sense to estimate mu, right? And the answer is that we can use maximum likelihood estimation to give us exactly this formula. So when we use maximum likelihood estimation, we actually get a formula that takes our observations and spits out an estimation for population parameters. Right, and that's pretty cool, right? Because this is our way of using data to actually estimate parameters, and then we can do all sorts of cool stuff with this, right? So, Let's, let's go get more into the intuition of how we use maximum likelihood to come up with those formulas. So let's say once again, we have our height examples and we observe some heights. So let's say we observe the first height, 160 centimeters. We observe here two heights, one at 165 and one at 170 and then one at 180. Right? So those are our four observations, right? We have one person who is 160 centimeters tall and the tallest person 180 centimeters tall. And let's say we know the variance of a distribution. So we know the shape of the distribution. What we try to estimate is how the distribution is located, right? So in other words, with maximum or when we try to understand what our mu is, so we know that our distribution 
is normally distributed with variance of 50, but what we don't know is what this mu is, right? And what this mu or the mean value of a, of a um, normal distribution does is it shifts the distribution to the right and to the left, right? So this normal distribution has a mu with 100, maybe 63 centimeters, and this distribution has a mu with, I don't know, what is it, 170, yeah. So now the question is, which distribution is better? Which distribution fits our data better? And here's where maximum likelihood estimation comes in. And the idea is to use the distribution that best fits the data. In other words, that maximizes density over the data. And I just show you by calculation how we maximize density. So let's go with the blue distribution first. And let's say that our individual heights are independent. That means, the, that means that under the blue distribution, the density or the likelihood for all our four observations is given by the values of the density function multiplied. Yeah. So our first observation here, it has, let's say, a density of 0 0.4. Our second observation has a density of 0 0.45. Our third observation has a density of 0 0.3. Let's make a nicer multiply dot here. And our fourth observation has a density of 0 0.1. So if we use the blue curve, right, we would get density estimation equal to this product. All right, let's see what the density is under the orange curve, right? And we see that our first observation has a density of 0 0.2. Our second observation has a density of 0 0.5. Our third observation has a density of 0 0.4. And our fourth observation has a density of 0 0.25. So I just calculated those multiples and you see that the orange product has a higher density than our blue density curve. Right? In other words, the orange curve fits the data better than the blue curve, which is obvious when you look at it, right? Because the, the orange curve has its maximum here at those two points where we, where we also observe data, right? And this is the idea behind maximum likelihood estimation. We use the density curve or density function of a distribution and fit it so that it fits the data perfectly, right? And what we do is we just calculate the density, right? For our given data points. And we say we use the parameter mu that actually maximizes this density. So in our case, we would decide for the blue, the, the orange density curve, right? And the orange density curve actually corresponds to a mu of, in this case, 167 centimeters, right? So this is the intuition behind it, right? We find the curve that fits perfectly, right? And we, you can actually do this with math. And what you will find is that if you put up a density function. So you put up the density function of the normal distribution and you maximize it with respect to mu, right? The density function of the normal distribution, which is usually, usually um, yeah, which is one divided by square root two by sigma and so on. And what you'll find is that the formula for our maximum likelihood estimator is actually the average, yeah. So this is the intuition, the graph, and there is math behind it that actually gives you a formula, right? But for the math, there are other great YouTube videos I will recommend in the description.